Hello and welcome to a special video. Um, this is inspired by the BBC Breakfast's Maths Challenge. It's an awesome challenge. It says there are twice as many dogs as roosters. There are twice as many roosters as monkeys. If there are 88 animal feet, how many dogs, roosters and monkeys are there? This comes from an article on BBC Breakfast News at 6.55 this morning where they were explaining that people need to or we as a country need to raise the awareness of our need to improve our maths. In fact, I think they said Britain was rated 27th in terms of numeracy around the world, which for a country like Britain, that's not good. We do need to improve our maths. So rather than just tweeting the answer, as I'm sure many have already done by now, uh, what I want to do is do a YouTube video explaining how we get the answer. So we're told there are twice as many dogs as roosters, there are twice as many roosters as monkeys. If there are 88 animal feet, how many dogs, roosters and monkeys are there? Well, we know that dogs have four feet, roosters have two feet, and monkeys have two feet. So, four times the number of dogs, I'm going to put D for dogs, plus two times the number of roosters, I'm putting R for roosters, plus 2 times the number of monkeys will equal 88 animal feet. So this gives us an equation, but we've got three variables and one equation. So there's an infinite number of possible solutions. We need more information. Well, luckily we have more information. We're told there are twice as many dogs as roosters. So we can say that 2 times the number of roosters is equal to the number of dogs. And we're also told there's twice as many roosters as monkeys. So 2 times the number of moose, uh, monkeys will equal the number of roosters. I can't believe I nearly said moosters. <laughs> One of the moosters. All right, so we can say that the number of roosters, if I can get my keyboard to work, is equal to the number of monkeys sorry, is equal to twice the number of monkeys. Uh, we can rearrange this and say that the number of monkeys is equal to one half the number of roosters. So that's the number of roosters divided by two. Okay, so where can we go from here? Well, what we can do is we can take this top equation here and we can substitute the information that we now have into it. It's a property of the equal sign that if this is equal to this, then this must be equal to this. And therefore, if the number of dogs is equal to twice the number of roosters, we can take this 2 times r and we can substitute it here where we see the d. So that means we have 4 times d, which is 2 times r, plus 2 times r, plus 2 times the number of monkeys. And we know that the number of monkeys is equal to the number of roosters divided by 2. And all that, we are told, is equal to 88. OK, so now we have one equation with one variable and we can solve it quite simply. 4 times 2 is 8, so that's 8r plus 2r plus 2 times half of r is just going to be r. Two, two lots of a half make one whole. And all that is equal to 88. Now if we have 8 roosters plus 2 more roosters plus 1 more roosters, well 8 roosters plus 2 roosters is 10 roosters, plus another rooster makes 11 roosters. So 11 roosters is equal to 88. So if 11r is equal to 88, then r is equal to 88 divided by 11. And 88 divided by 11, we know from our times tables, is 8. 8 times 11 is equal to 88. So now we know that there are 8 roosters. But we are told there are twice as many roosters as monkeys. So if there are twice as many roosters as monkeys, and there are eight roosters, then there must be four monkeys. And we're told there are twice as many dogs 
as roosters. So if there are eight roosters, there must be 16 dogs. So our answer is there are eight, sorry, there are 16 dogs. There are eight roosters and there are four monkeys. Okay, I hope that was helpful and I'd like to say thank you to BBC Breakfast for a very interesting maths challenge. My name's Paul. I do quite a few other videos uh, regarding GCSE Maths. Uh, if you are studying for your GCSE Maths, uh, do check out the rest of my channel. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'd like to wish you all the best with your revision and all the best with your exams. And I'll see you in another video. Have a nice day.